and T dance. I've been a really bad boy. Now get your cup of true tea as we spill it one cup at a time. With your host, Tyler Butler, Dick Wooplin, Amy DeMilo, Jonathan Soots. All happening right here at the iconic Cityside Lounge. All right, we're back. Another episode at Cityside where we're spilling the true tea one, one cup, cup at, at a time. time. I'm I screwed am, that up. I, I'm <laughs> so impressed you got it out. I got it out you that did. time. God, I never know where I'm at or what I'm doing or what's going on. There's been so much going on with me and my travels and being in Sarasota and Tampa and St. Pete. But you got a lot going on too, True Tea. Yeah, well, <laughs> so it. we're going to do something a little different this week. Mm -hmm. we're, we are going to do a little contest kind of thing, a little game. All right. And we each, each of us panelists has three phrases that we're going to work into conversation. But before we do that, let's tell everybody who's on the show today. Who is on the show today? <laughs> you just kind of skipped over that, Dick. Well, Are you getting senile? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I am under pressure. <laughs> Always under pressure. Of course, we're back with our friend JoJo to my right. JoJo, who are you and what do you do around town? Yeah, absolutely. So I do local bar consulting. I open bars, nightclubs, restaurants. We're currently opening Tangra Nightclub in Ybor City, Florida at 1611 East 7th Avenue. Uh, we'll be a three-level nightclub with a rooftop deck and bar, which will be open seven days a week. I can't wait. Right. It's a oh, lot yeah. of excitement. You come yeah. by city side, of course. Grab a date like I talked about last week on the show and head down to Ybor. Oh, yeah. There's always some great people to meet here at Cityside, right, Absolutely. Dick? Absolutely. Cityside. Yeah. And you know, this You is... can always find Dick here on the bar stool. <laughs> that's, or that's a true. dick. <laughs> or a dick is more like it. <laughs> so we're back with our friend, Mr. James Ankle. Tell our viewers a little about who you are and a little about Cityside. I'm James Inky. I own Cityside Lounge. We are we just celebrated our 29th anniversary, so this whole year we're gonna be celebrating our 30th anniversary, which will be in October of next year. And while we're down here, we're going to be dancing in the dark all the time, as much as we possibly can. We're going to have a well, lot of great fun. Yep. You're, you're just a man-eater there, Jim. I try. I have many part-time lovers. What can I say? And right uh, around uh, Gobble Gobble time Thanksgiving, I bet you guys are going to be doing a lot of stuff for that as well. Exactly. On Thanksgiving on the 28th, we're going to be having a potluck for anybody who, mm. who doesn't have a place to go. You can come down to here because, like I said last week, it doesn't matter if you come here for one time or many times, you're part of our family. So come celebrate with us. I love that. That's what I remember about, you know, bars have really changed. We're going to talk a little bit about that later on in the show. However, Cityside has always been your local bar, your local hometown bar here. you got all your buddies. And it's funny because I come back, you know, two years later and I see the same friends that I remembered <laughs> from 100 years ago. I mean, they've aged a bit maybe or cocktailed a few times. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny how you think, like, you know, all your friends are gone. But you go out in a local bar and you're like, oh, my God, I remember you. So that's what I love about Cityside and some of the things that I remember. So, all right, we have our friend Jonathan Sitz here. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you, Mr. Tyler? Ah, I'm doing great. So what have you been up to these days? I'm um, just running around being a socialite in St. Pete and being an educator and love spending time with the kids and with my husband at home and just uh, lots of great things happening in November and December this year. Yeah, what are you doing now? I books? do Reading books uh, or? four different things yeah. and just private education with, with students all around St. Pete and in China. Wow, that's incredible. It's a great time. I know and, you were uh, doing like a book club too before, right? Are um, you still doing any of that thing with that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, I no longer have a fast car. That's been a topic on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so one down, two more to go with oh this game here. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. You're, you're lagging behind you. I am totally lagging behind <laughs> because I'm in the jungle. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> welcome to the jungle. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. so the idea I'm totally going to screw this game up. You know that because I hate <laughs> games. The, and the I told Dick was going to play a game, and I said, no, I'm going to screw it up. He did, and he will. <laughs> so, so the idea here is that when you figure out what the topic is or the category, oh, and just one little hint, it's music, put it in the comments, and somebody's going to win something. Somebody's right there on the bottom something. of your screen, you'll might, see the might comment. Might be a bar of penis, so. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, or maybe a T-shirt. 
Dick, you give love a bad name. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. I mean, you're all about the T-shirts. Maybe somebody at home could win a T-shirt. Yeah, and they could. And here's the thing. Art would have to turn loose on one of them first. I'm always talking about the T-shirts that Art Smith designs and sells. But there's a new twist, and the Sisters of Atlanta, the Sisters, sisters of Perpetual, Perpetual Indulgence in Atlanta, yeah, there you go. have, in the last two weeks, gotten $400 from t-shirts. Oh, wow. Really? So there's a online at channel125.com slash tease, T-E-E-Z. Is, right um, there on the bottom of your screen are all the are all the T-shirts, but the the sisters get all the money from a Backstreet Throwback T-shirt. Nice. It's forty-five years that Backstreet has Street. was around. Yes, that, I said that wrong. They weren't around for forty-five years, <laughs> but they <laughs> but started you were, forty-five years and ago. Plus and some. That, and it was it was a twenty-four hour club in Atlanta where many many people lost their virginity. I believe. I don't know. <laughs> Well, they were making love out of nothing at all. But, but the sister, and any, 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 yes, any not-for-profit that's a 501c3 can participate and make money off of T-shirts, like the sisters just did, four hundred dollars in two weeks, and it's still growing. Uh, just contact Art Smith at Art at Channel125.com is the best way to contact. Nice. All right. So. Somebody stole my notes. They're oh. gone. Well, I, well, no I was going to talk about a little about. bit of things and time after time. And oh, stuff. You, oh, Am oh. I totally screwing this game? <laughs> no. <laughs> no <you're not. laughs> that's perfect. You know you're good. Now, now you got two of them done. He told me that's there what I was go. supposed to do. So it's his fault if I'm doing this wrong. I don't know if it's charades or what. Or You're supposed to guess what I'm saying? No. The... <laughs> okay. All right. All so right. totally screw that up. But uh, And what else we got going on? <laughs> JoJo, when are you open in this club? We'll be open in December, hopefully December 7th or December 15th. But uh, our projected opening will be uh, first or second week of December. All right. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, this, this past month or so, I'm not quite sure when it was, but our Ma Jane Caster, Mayor Jane, who's been on Channel 125 and out and about Tampa, and about Tampa yeah. uh, has just has received an award, a national award, oh. uh, for courage in government. I thought you were going to say greatest lesbian or something. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the same thing? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because she got the award from the national... LGBT oh. Chamber of Commerce. Oh, same thing, yeah. yeah. So I thought that was kind of cool. Mayor yeah, Jane cool. is, we love her. Yeah. She, she is all about doing great stuff for us. So. She is. She's really done a lot as well. <clears throat> to thank her publicly on here, she's done a lot for East Tampa, which is an area that has needed it in the past. Um, I followed the councilman or one of the one of the local officials um, who's African American from the Eastern zip code of Tampa. Um, she got him a um, his area a new uh, paramedic team got the funding for that they had no fire station or paramedic team wow so much needed for them good for Jane absolutely well you know don't stop believing <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing the game right there you were God. listen don't go anywhere there's so much more to come more hot topics you don't want to miss it we'll be right back after this message out and out Tampa. Are you ready to experience a new level of entertainment? Disco designers coming to Tampa with a mission to make a difference in a way you experience nightlife. Are you ready? Tampa Nightclub, Ybor City, Tampa. Tired of the same boring selection of t-shirts? Looking for original designs and witty phrases? We've got you covered. Our Insanities and Diversities collections are full of unique shirts that you're gonna love. Check out our latest designs at channel125.com slash tees and get yours today. 
Welcome back. So we were just talking about things in your butt and bugging you, and you found your notes. They, there they are. You so, like things in your butt. So we, we do not. We do. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're talking about Club Bush again. <laughs> last, this past Wednesday was the Christmas tree lighting, and mm -hmm. you know, if you go into that little sub shop there behind the tree, you can see what's happening inside the tree. I'm just just saying. Oh. But come You'll up, see Dick there. December seventh is snow on seventh. Snow on 7th. Oh, yeah. That's on right. Seven. And we're talking about snow on 7th, not far favors. No, it's real snow. Well, oh. it's not real snow. Okay. It's machine made snow. So it's. In a parade. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a parade. Right. That's right. So when's the parade? You didn't do your I homework. I just told did? you. I just told you. Oh, the December snow. 9th. So that December is the 9th. parade. Yes. So then we had, the, we, we had the Christmas tree. Oh, my God. Tree. <laughs> scroll that up. So we had the Christmas tree lighting. That was last week. That, and, and now that, we have coming up December 9th is the Christmas tree lighting. No, it's no. Snow on 7th. Oh, shit. Snow on 7th. So just so you know, when you come to City Side, this is where we are. We've you, been on the stool for a couple minutes yeah, before we the have. show started. And, and Mike, my favorite bartender, is on. And, you know, that's... He makes you feel happy. Yes, yes, he does. Real happy. There is nobody sad at City Side. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about some things that are exciting, especially the bar scene. We yes. love City Side, and we also are going to love this new club that we're going to be checking out. Absolutely. It's going to have some of the really cool things. I mean, it's got three levels. It's not exactly a gay bar, though, right? No, but we will cater to the gay community for sure. Different themes. Are you going to have so drag night? Right? Oh, yeah. We'll do a drag night, which will be incorporated in our gay night. We'll do Latin night, uh, a hip-hop room, a dance hall night. Uh, there's lots of cool things coming. Uh, we'll also be operating as a multi-unit operation. So once we have Tangra open, we'll be doing a couple of other businesses on 7th Avenue as well in the upcoming months. So, yeah. You know, a lot of the things that we talk about on the show are the changes that have happened with the bar scene. I mean, yes. as everyone knows, a lot of bars have closed. I mean, yes. I think we had St. Petersburg. We had one of the biggest clubs. Flamingo. Yeah, yeah, Flamingo, Flamingo closed. And G-Bar closed. closed after that. And Hamburger Mary's, Hamburger of course, Mary's who we tried to help save. We did a lot of things with that on the show. Um, unfortunately, I think there's one left. I think it's Clearwater. Clearwater I think they just yeah. did a reopening, mm -hmm. which we were talking about. Uh, before we went to commercial about that. Yep. But um, it, it's crazy how the life of the bar has changed. However, if you kind of do your homework in Europe, if you go on uh, YouTube or you kind of look online, those bars have not changed. Those bars are bigger and better. Those bars they have some growing. crazy, yeah. crazy things going on. And the great thing about this new bar opening, I was talking to JoJo about this, and talk to our viewers that are watching right now. So many things are going to be happening here in Ybor City in Tampa because they're bringing that European style and the flavor that they're doing there here. Talk a little bit about that, JoJo. Absolutely. So uh, one of our proprietors. So our company is actually ran by some of the top bar consultants in the entire world. I'm sure most of you are familiar with uh, Bar Rescue, you know, the show with John mm -hmm. Tapper. That's like number one. You know, he's got a TV show. He's done thousands of bars. Then there's Peter Yord and Chris Lenahan, the two owners of uh, the Tangra Nightclub. And, I mean, collectively they've also done thousands. So you're literally talking about top bar consultants in the entire world tapping into the Tampa market. Ebor is obviously Tampa's entertainment district and Tangra Nightclub is a good representation of what happens in European nightclubs as well as Las Vegas nightclubs. A lot of our furnishings, well all of our furnishings are actually, we own a facility in Bulgaria that literally makes everything exclusively for our bars and nightclubs. So a lot of the things that you'll see at Tangra Nightclub actually come to us from Bulgaria made exclusively by craftsmen, architects, artisans, um, each level, like I said, will be a different theme, atmosphere, music selection. But uh, the chandeliers, everything from the chandeliers to the couches, we literally make ourselves. So it's actually a pretty I cool I love concept. that. And then you're going to have that thing on the top. Oh, yeah. The balcony, we have a 500-pound, 22-foot golden Buddha going on the rooftop deck and bar. Um, everything. It's going to be how, how are you going to get Tyler up there? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> Um, we do have a crane, so we'll have a crane <laughs> and a flat bed. Um, no, but it's going to be really cool. And then, like, all the walls are – I'm sure you're familiar with Disney, Walt Disney, you know. All those projectors, those laser projectors they use that, that shoot holograms, we literally have about 48 
made of those hanging from each ceiling. So uh, you can make a bottle of Jameson, start in the corner of the room, fly around and explode into a million shots. I mean, it, it, it's absolutely so high-tech state-of-the-art. There's nothing like it in Tampa, Central Florida. Uh, it, this really is some European-style, Las Vegas-style nightclub coming to the heart of Tampa's entertainment district. website yet? Yeah, well, follow us on our social media platforms, at Tengra Nightclub, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook specifically. That's the best way to be kept up to date on our upcoming events and our grand opening. So, JoJo, not to interrupt you, but you know I follow a lot of blogs, and I <laughs> heard a little birdie has told me that it's not just Tangaroo that's going to be opening. There's going to be something else that may be in the works that's Absolutely. going to change Tampa as well. Absolutely. So whenever we tap into a new market, we like to do multiple businesses back to back to back. That's the best way to, of course, monopolize. But it also helps to build up the local market, which is really important to us. Uh, we will be doing another bar on 7th Avenue. And probably we're already doing the build out now as we speak. That'll probably be open uh, February, March. Tangro will be open in December. We may be doing a concept bar in Lakeland and maybe even a new gay bar on 7th Avenue. So the, right. the possibilities and the growth is really this endless. This is exciting because we, so really yeah, we really need that. Yeah, we really need about to get a really big pop. It's slowly becoming more and more gentrified. Um, it already saw a good pop. It dwindled a little bit. Now that we're tapping into this market, it's definitely going to get a huge pop. And we look forward to really growing and building up what Ebor once was and what it's going to be. So the reason why excellent. I wanted to have JoJo on to talk about that because we've talked about on the show so many times. The market really has changed with yeah. apps, with the people going online and, and the sex apps and stuff. I mean, the life that we used to have back in the day when he was around. <laughs> I'm still people around. To, people used to go around. I'm still around. People used to go to bars and like actually meet people. They didn't go on these grinder apps and stuff to 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 do things like that. They right. actually met people in a bar. They socialized. They communicated. Now everybody's doing everything by their phone. Yeah. So I love the fact that Tango is going to be coming around and they're going to be opening a big brand of different things. So come to City Side, meet people. It's your hometown bar. Go to Tango. Speaking of, speaking of oh, City yeah. Side, this Thursday is going to be Thanksgiving. Oh, it is. And, gobble, gobble. and somebody is doing something special for Thanksgiving. Exactly. Like I said earlier, we're going to be having our potluck for anybody who wants to come in and join us. Come on down. It'll be at 6 p.m. We all know everyone on that Wednesday is going to be out partying hardy because Lord knows they're going to need it when they have to see their parents for a couple hours. <laughs> and then once they get turkey done on Thanksgiving, rest up for a little bit, then come back, come back out, see us, and let's party some more. That's, that's, that's all we got. Amazing. Do. I will definitely be we're doing mamas for dinner, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come here and party some more. <laughs> and that's City Side's way of nothing's going to stop us now. Oh, <coughs> is that your third? That's, that's my third. third. You got your three in? All right, got mine. You got your three in? Absolutely, because no. that's what friends are for. Oh, <laughs> Jojo, how are you doing on your three? He yeah, hasn't all. even started. I'm the one saying I'm going to screw up. Did you start? <laughs> This is a hot water. It's very cold outside. Very cold outside. It is very cold outside. Absolutely. Super cold. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, that's the end of a segment. Cool. What do you yeah, think? It's the end already? It is. Already? <laughs> I, I don't mean, know, is it? Wow. <laughs> the camera person saying, it is. Yes. <laughs> well, listen, you got to stay tuned. We've got so much more to come next week. You never know what's going to be happening next week. That, Do you know what's going to next week? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't even know what happened this week. Now, yeah. Well, thanks again for joining us. We love City Side. We love coming here. Thank you again for joining us again. Thank you. Yep. We'll see everybody again. What, are you already drinking up? Uh, he can't stop himself. The drinks are too good here, and you know he's got a big cocktail in there. We'll see everybody again. We're spilling the tea. One, One cup at a time. This has been an Out and About Media production in association with Channel125.com.